All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Portal Master Quest. Tonight we are playing Aperture Tag, everybody's favorite portal mod, because let's face it, who doesn't like flinging themselves around with speed and bounce gel? Um, as with a few of these mods, it is not a blind playthrough. I have played through this before, so don't expect me to take a long time. Um, let's be honest, I'm not exactly going to diddle-daddle. I'm just going to literally charge through we may get some unintended solutions who knows but um yeah no deal dallying i just want to sort of get through it i think i'm pretty confident we could probably do this all in one entire stream so uh yeah sit back relax and enjoy uh and without further ado let us jump in from the beginning with aperture tag i look like somebody who'd be a dj hmm <laughs> uh, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I listened back to my, um, I was listening back to my DJ set over the last couple of days I did at the weekend, and uh, I think it was a banger. I think it was a banger, especially the opening segments. Man, the uh, the deep, like the the housey segments were fantastic, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get back and enjoy the introduction for Abstract. Welcome to the paint gun testing initiative. You have been in hibernation for nine, 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 nine. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Well, it doesn't really matter. Please leave the restroom whenever you are ready. To me, it doesn't make much sense to me either, Aaron. I kind of, oh man, that's too sensitive. Um, I kind of get the impression that um, I'm being kind of dragged through somewhere. It's kind of what I envision. I read in your file that you like nice, long, warm showers in the morning. But it's time to begin the test. Regardless, I know that bed might look comfy. But we've got much to do. So please exit your room. What if I don't want to exit my room? Let me out! Still feels a bit sensitive. Oh man, I need to... Alright. Real talk for a moment. Can somebody tell me what the uh, what it is to bind the mouse wheel to jump? Because that's going to annoy the frick out of me. And I cannot remember for the life of me how to bind it. Um, I could uh, as well check my... Thanks, guys. You're the best. And we'll up. Can I get uh yeah there we go. Uh, mouse wheel. Yeah, you guys are the best. You know, I don't even know why they even bother giving you a bed. They will drag the test subjects into the stasis chambers anyways. Give me some citranium. Or not. You know this area reminds me of something you did once, Erend? Was that the idea? I can't remember what it was, bearing in mind, but... Um, <laughs> I just remember you kind of doing something very similar. After long periods of hibernation, the human body loses some of its strength. So, before we get to the paint gun testing... Great start. <laughs> testing hasn't officially begun yet, so we're free to talk without anyone listening in on us. But your profile says you're not an early bird, so I understand if you don't want to... Yeah, set, just setting the tone, I guess. Setting the tone for the rest of the... Uh... The rest of the playthrough, clearly. 
don't think my mouse is too sensitive still. I don't know. Um, but yeah, with regards to actual, actual puzzles, I don't remember a lot of the puzzles, I have to say. I assume you're going to give me a cube. Uh, I don't think I've got a playthrough of Mel, so yes, we will be playing through Mel. Um, we'll be playing through the normal, the normal mode, not the, um, not the nerfed mode. Whee! Yeah, isn't it, um, advanced mode and not story mode? Wasn't it story mode? Yeah, story mode was the, um, nerfed version, wasn't it? I really see, like the point, like these these turrets and things. I guess they just kind of put them there to kind of pad out this area a little bit more. I guess. Nigel, oh, he's he's great. Nigel's great. Gotta love yourself, yes. Nigel. I know this experiment will go without any problems. I can see it in you. Pick up the device and let the vacuum delivery system take us to the first test involving paint. Um, I didn't actually pick up the gun. Just want to kind of put that out there right now. The vacuum kind of sucked me up before I even had a chance to pick up the gun. Okay, I know you're wondering. Did it not launch in the end? Don't worry, it'll all make sense as we progress. I did see something about um, they had to fix some technical issues. Okay, just go through the door now. All right, why don't you try firing your gun? See what happens. Woohoo! You solved that really fast. Now this next chamber should offer more of a challenge for us. Was it yesterday they had the technical issues with the rocket? Then maybe. So um. Very good. Nice. Okay, um, maybe it's time to introduce myself. I'm Nigel, and I will be your testing associate for this testing track. Glad to meet you. Um, t test subject name here. Hmm, guess you forgot to fill that out. Don't worry, I'll get that checked. Alrighty then. In case you haven't noticed yet, that green field, the Aperture Science Paint Gun Activation Field, also known as Fissler, will activate and deactivate your paint gun. Woohoo! This is the best part of the mod. You can just bounce wherever you want to bounce. Clearly. But yeah, I mean, it's everybody's favourite mod. Anybody, anytime anybody talks about any sort of mod, Aperture Tag's always there, because let's face it, it's, um, it's of high quality. Indeed. Yeah. Try not to use any speed gel. Like the entire playthrough. Is that actually even possible, Megist? Let's get gel everywhere and then try that again. Use as little as I can, or as least as I can. Now, surely there's got to be a surely there's a scripted push here, right? Oh no, we can just do this. I realize that painting is all good and fun, but cleaning that stuff up is horribly expensive. So just please only spray where you think. It's oh, necessary. of course I will. Your science sentient washing servos will thank you. I'm sure I won't go spamming gel here, there, and everywhere, Nigel. You can count on me. They actually packed speedrunner tactics here and not bugs and or glitches. <laughs> wow. Now this jumping training course it will teach you ideally how to navigate through future test chambers clearly they um they, they clearly had the priorities right with this game then you know about 
wanted to make sure everybody got a good experience and not just um, you know, stopping speedrunners from doing their stuff and breaking stuff. But is the music all right? The music seems a bit loud. I mean, it's, it's all right. I mean, it's very repetitive. This segment, three kind of different areas where we're just doing the same thing, just to traverse a little bit, a bit, little bit further in the uh, level. One of the nicer things about. As I was about to say, one of the nicer things about Aperture Tag um, is um, the, ant the, the ant lines. I quite like the ant lines. But I think most people will agree it's not, uh, as I was being sarcastic earlier, and it's not one of those mods that's actually up there in terms of quality. There's just, yeah. I, it's a cool idea, don't get me wrong, but I think it just allows for too much kind of spamming of stuff and it's really just not that well thought out Pepsi yeah we got the Pepsi out gotta love yourself a bit of Pepsi nicely done I love that final jump looks really fun Sometimes I wish I had legs so I could do what you do, but then I remember the other things we do to test subjects. I uh, probably shouldn't have said that. Who, who draw who draw a rocket with paint? Can't say it's anything that's ever crossed my mind, Megist. Yeah, a bit like what um, your B mod extension, Conclan, and what you did there. Definitely. I just looked at the documentation for these big monitors. Let me show you myself. Sweet, isn't it? <laughs> now you can look at me. So it's not as creepy knowing you're being watched. Because you can watch me too. How cool is that? Oh, the door. Let me get that for you. And the song. Good luck. Yo, Fumbly, what's going on? How you doing this fine, fine Thursday for you? Yeah, Thursday. I gotta remember to do here. This will be a shoot the cube with the paint, make it do things and stuff. Everyone's a winner. Apart from, you know, the water, which we're going to fall into. They spent six hours on it. Do you know what? I actually don't feel that bad now. I think 4, 425 was my official end game time on that. Are oh, you kidding me? Well, this is awkward. This is awkward. <laughs> You spent eight hours? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Now, I gotta remember... I don't remember what I did here. I need to get the cube over to here. Can 
Can I not just, like... I can't remember what to do. Do I just, I just get a cube? I think I'm just trying to break things and do stuff that I'm not meant to be doing. <laughs> like I told I, I said at the top of the playthrough, right? I'm not gonna be taking this very seriously at all. I am going for like just the let's get through this as quickly as possible. It's not a blind playthrough, it is just like a playthrough for complete com for completeness on YouTube. For the master quest, so you've played the other two, right, Conklin? I'm sure, because um, like myself, I'm sure you had a mention in the actual map description about giving Leo some ideas for it. Oh, a real puzzle. A real puzzle. This is a real puzzle, boys. An actual real puzzle. With turrets, which are going to stop me from doing stuff, quite clearly. shouldn't have done that just yet, but... don't think I can uh, get through there either. I think I may have... May, may, we've made mistakes. Mistakes were made, boys and girls. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, there's going to be a lot of that tonight. tonight. Trust me. So I should just probably just jump across here. That'd be a lot easier, right? Oh, Erend, have I got some good news for you, Erend? Have I got some good news for you? So, uh, you know you recommended something on Netflix? I've only gone and started watching it finally. Oh, I was near a speaker. I was going to say, what's with the music right there? It got really loud, but yeah, I was near a speaker. Aperture Tag, the only game where you have an in-game speaker. Or in-chamber speakers. Nicely done. You may now exit the room. Chop, chop. You should be able to reach the exit. Beyond room. Skyline? I don't tend to watch, like, a lot of films as such, mainly because um, whenever I get to watch a film, it's normally my wife and she's not into those sorts of things. Um, when we watch films with together, it's mainly um, 
like horror kind of films. Wait a minute, is that like? I never noticed that in the original play. Is that like the section from Portal Two? Right after you open up the big vault door, is that what that's meant to be? Huh. Wow, that was. I like I like elevator rides and things like that. They're really cool, but make something happen or say something while I'm doing it, just to sort of make it seem like there's a point to it. It's not pointless, Kong Clan. It's reinventing the wheel. Because... Um, how else would they make this area fit in, Fumbly? <laughs> I think what's I think what's more kind of what's more comical about this is like the auto portals still like fire. Now isn't there a a thing? It's with the weird reflections. I can't say I noticed the glass, to be fair. Can't plan, if I'm honest, but I'll take a look at that in a minute. Yes. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. I, I see. I see your point. How would that have done that, though? You know what? Don't don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. It's not worth it. I'm sure I could jump on there. Can't, can't you jump on there? I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. Does my mind deceive me? Possibly. This elevator is malfunctioning. We are looking for a vacuum delivery system. The door is rigged to open when the subject walks through the corridor. I should have probably prevented that from happening. Sorry guys, just need to um two six. Look, 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 look. It's turned on. Look. Kids and politics. Alright. 
Uh, where am I going? Um, I can't remember what to do here. Don't you somehow break something and... Can I just jump up here? Is that, is that what I do? This is fun. Let's just sit here for the rest of the night. Do this. Who doesn't like just like hitting their head constantly on a panel? Alright, so let's change, try the sensible approach. Which will involve something like this. And something like this. Hey, that worked. Fantastic. There it is. Just jump in it and we'll be on our way. Just jump in it and we'll be on our way. So many kid dramas. Huge dark cave, don't you forget, ever forget huge dark cave, man. Now this test does make use of portals as a testing element. If you've never bumped into them before, they're pretty straightforward. Thingy goes in, thingy goes out. That's a bit um of an interesting statement. You know. Thingy goes in, thingy goes out. Just saying. Am I going to go for both endings? That's a good question. If there's Cave Johnson TTS from that... <laughs> hey. My huge dark cave wrap was something else, man. Seriously. There's no denying. Should have saved. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, geez. Now I gotta do that again. Oh, I see what I'm meant to do. Mistakes were made again. <laughs> God's sake. What am I doing? What am I doing? Seriously. 
I need to contemplate my life. It's called acting without thinking. Or knee-jerk reaction, I guess. Probably a more technical term. Music is like deafening. We're gonna want extra height here. Or we could just, you know, fuck things up like that. All right, so shooting shooting the cube too early isn't the way to go. Apologies for my language. There we go. Not to make this mod look good. Have you ever went up here? Is there anything to actually see up here? I doubt it. Die and having not saved it, right? We need, we need to um, we need to stop messing about quite so much. It kind of reminds me of the of demons puzzle, the one with the um, where you've got to move the mono portal. No, not move the mono portal. You push the cube up to the ceiling portal. Kind of reminds me of that one a little bit. It was Demon's Puzzle, wasn't it? It kind of just feels like there's a few too many, like, boring tube transitions. Ooh, we activate the fizzler. But not from in here. Just, you know. Real talk, though, in like aperture science kind of terms, why are these panels kind of like on like wooden frames? I thought everything in aperture was like on metal frames. Hmm. Or is that just me? Also, does it really make sense that I have to go through there to open this door? Great. Now use your gel gun to actually get to the testing site out there in the gorge. Haha, ha, everybody's favourite. Because, you know, I guess the, uh, when, when you think about it, the... Careful now. That thing crushes you to death. Its official name is the Aperture Science Cold The crushes in Aperture Tag are kind of like turrets in normal portal. You know, we actually have one guy who's only... Aperture Science not killer. Aperture Science patented in devices. He even came up with that term. I think the sound effect for them crushes is slightly broken though. 
distance I can still hear them crushing away. Just a standard testing sphere. Nothing special. The average human doesn't have the reaction times required for this test. So I will shout out the directions about how we started already. Quick, left turn! 180, right turn! Oh okay. I hate these ones. Isn't there isn't there like a isn't there like a gauntlet on aperture tag at the end as well? I don't think I actually did it. I don't think I did it. I think I skipped it, but isn't there like a gauntlet section at the end? <sighs> it's not how I speed run. Damn. Gel on those turns doesn't actually do anything. All right, well, that's good to know. Impossible jump ahead. We did a really good job out there. You flying around all over the place, and I tell you how to get there. I should get the guys up here to do more tests like this. <laughs> yeah, almost got it in one. However would, have I, however would I have known where to go if you hadn't have told me? Also, haven't we just like randomly turned up in a modern Portal 2 environment here? Having just come from a, an old Aperture style environment. Now that we have boat gels at our disposal, we want to be more careful about our next move. We don't want to end up short or overdo a jump. Well, I didn't fall to my death, but the game killed me. Bravo. Yeah, I totally get what you're saying, Conclan, as well. The voice acting of Stephen Merchant is just fantastic. There's no other way to really say it. And yeah, they're trying too hard to emulate that in this mod, I feel. And to be fair, I don't actually find Nigel that entertaining at all. Oh, crap. Watch the game. I thought it was like an aeroplane, like low flying aeroplane. I can hear like a like a droning noise, which sounds like an aeroplane. I honestly thought there was an aeroplane like flying over my my house really low, but it's the game. Ah, I think that's what I need to do, isn't it? Not die. Or maybe not. Nah, we gotta use it to solve the puzzle. Is this one of those places it's possible to get up the top here? Yeah, one of the... There's, um, from what I remember, there's a bit of an obsession with toilet east toilets being positioned here, there, and everywhere in this mod. I seem to remember. Maybe the uh, 
Maybe the um, developer was trying to tell us something. <laughs> Sorry, but this test did not have a connected vacuum delivery system. I want to remind you that these tests are still in alpha state. You need to go to the John. This chamber can be quite hard to nail down on the first try, so I drained out the goo. So don't be afraid if you fall down. Use the stairs to get back up. Okay, now we just have to find a way into the entrance of the test. Authorized personnel only. Can I please like jump over here? See? Very good. More death. Oh, that's right. I need to do this and I need to... I found this really kind of like awkward the first time I played this. I think I remember. I was kind of like... I was really quite annoyed that I had to kind of place all this gel first. Also, painting over decals. I know that's the way decals work in Portal 2, but just saying, it's not right. Just jump up. Oh, that's awkward. Think about it now, this is probably why I didn't like this test in the first place. Well, I don't really call this a test, but. See, I should be able to get up there. And this was, I think, my original annoyance with that. Is when I first did it, I had to keep going back and getting gel in more and more places. Oh well. So now we know what that noise was. That's one mystery solved. Unfortunately, I cannot drain that. So change of plans. Be careful. Right, well. <sighs> there we go, we got it. Second time lucky. Um, no, they're all, I think they're, they're all just fan-made. Um, some claim to be before all the events, some claim to be afterwards. Yeah. 
That means it's quite annoying, to be fair. So quite loud and obnoxious. I don't even know how that got there. I mean, why did they even have this kind of music in the music library? Unless it was part of the test and I screwed it up. Well, if it was, the damage is done now. Just test it. Um, now, don't I need to... I oh, know. I think that possibly was just teaching me if I get gel on the cube, I can fizzle it off. Can you do that in this game? I'm thinking about the paint fizzlers from like the main game, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, why even did they use death fizzlers? And those ant lines are confusing. Ah, uh, this might have been your best performance yet. Uh, unfortunately, the metal music was part of the test. Yeah, I knew that. I, I remembered that um, you could do that. So yeah, it, it does really make much sense at all. As far as that goes, you might as well just have grating there if you don't want the player to pass through it. Well, the lighting in this room doesn't look very good, does it? Advanced flow mechanics. While there is no time limit to this test, it is encouraged that we make an effort to be quick. You never know when it can be useful to be fast. We're on test number 12 already. So, all right, Fumbly, thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a good uh, good rest of the evening. Uh, it's not evening for you, though, is it? It's morning time. <laughs> Have a good Thursday. <laughs> I think I remember cheesing this with bounce gel. As most people probably have anyway. Good, but not perfect. But we still have plenty of time to work on your issues. My issues? I ain't got no issues. What are you talking about, fool? No more recycling you tests. The time I said we were not going to recycle old test chambers. It turns out I was wrong. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, I've got both my gels. I didn't even realize. Uh, no, I'm only going to play one mod a day, I think, is probably... Um, my limit, I would say. But yeah, I don't in anticipate that this is going to take me overly long. I don't know what to do. i got to do this, haven't I? That's it. Then I do the thing with the thing. I'm um, pointing these over here. Original test, it does not mean it isn't valuable. Proceed to the exit. Don't worry, I stopped the door to the elevator from opening automatically. Just look out for our vacuum tube. Yep, 
Yeah, it's, it's, that's a lot. Of the, the biggest thing I always hear about after tag is that obviously they charged for it rather than just making it free to play like a lot of the mods. And yeah, I would tend to agree that, you know, given the quality of the mod as well, it's um, a little disappointing. Hey, we got some disco textures. Gotta love me a bit of disco textures. See, funnels are a piece of cake. Nothing out of this world. Huh. Just got a strange sense of deja vu. Yeah, I mean, it was. I don't. I kind of seem to think it was like only a matter of like. I think it was even less than a quid. What? Hold on, I, I gotta check this. What? What is the actual? What is the price of Aperture Tag? I'm sure when I bought it, it was like seventy nine p or something. Three ninety nine, jeez. Three ninety nine, that much? Huh. <laughs> well, it's three ninety nine more than I would pay for it now, having experienced it now. That's for sure. I mean, I didn't really know a lot about the mods and things when I was playing this, so, and when I bought it, I wasn't as big on Portal as I am now, so. I don't know what to do here. That flings me over to here. Oh, do I do this? Possibly not. Yep, that's it. Can I get in there? I don't know, kind of like a lot like a lot of projects, I just think it feels a little rushed. It's one of those projects where if they'd have taken a little bit more time and effort on things, it would have been so much better. And we're dead again. Um I mean, was it is it a one man developer development project or was it actually done by a team? knowledgeable of people when it comes to sort of details about games and mods and things. A team but most decisions by one guy. Uh, figures. I think this is what I do. I better grab a save just in case, but. 
Yeah. There we go. Well, I'm actually starting to believe you can beat this experiment. Uh, I mean the reactor. I mean, never mind. Move along. I, I, it, remind me again, what came first? Was it this or was it the um, tag the power paint? This I can never remember which one chamber. came first. If you solve this test, it means you are eligible to perform a series of highly dangerous procedures. And that was what we were testing for. Another mystery solved for you. I knew from the very beginning. Okay, yeah. Didn't some people from that work on Portal 2? Am I right in saying that? Again, my whole sort of... I know that there's some sort of connection that somebody went to work for... Some, somebody worked on something from something. Yes, there you go. What the dickens? Yes, I'm sure somebody had... Because I, I did do a live stream of Tag the Power Paint, and I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure somebody told me that in the stream that that was the case um, I don't know what the point of that was can I get enough sp I guess I can get enough speed here just to run back over here right and do that Sign me up. Sign me up, Scotty. Uh, There's a time a game called Fractal Space. Question to Port 2, Fist Port 2, Monster Try Out. Chapter 5 of the game should be released whenever you finish. So you can easily get a key. Is that the. Um, I, I haven't contacted them. Is that the people that you sent me the details of on the uh, Twitch DMs? Jump over at that gap. I haven't forgotten about it, I've just not got around to doing anything with it. Yeah. Now go through the door that says authorized personnel only. Don't worry, you're authorized personnel now. That, my friend, is what keeps this whole place alive and running and working. It's the Aperture Laboratory Stability Stable Energy Reactor. Or I'm sure it is. I'm sorry, I've got to fix something. Just get to the control panel on the bottom floor. I will catch you. Just, uh, by two people, a uh, developer and a writer. Oh, cool. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely hit them up though. Um, like I said, I do, I do know I've got it in my DMs. I just haven't got around to um, getting in touch with them about it. Oh, is, doesn't the speed running bit come after this? Kind of rings a bell. Pushing the buttons, big door opens, and then speed running section. All right, so it's going to be my mission to try and do this because, like I say, I did skip this speed running section when I originally played through. Way back when, many years ago. I'm sure I'm um, more experienced now than I was back then. 
Danger, danger. Sorry about the interruption. Aperture Science is now upgraded to a new ulcer, which means this one has to be shut down as it's useless. However, this process is quite dangerous and has to be done manually. There are two buttons. Go ahead and press one. As long as you press one, we should be fine. No, 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 no. I mean the other one. If you do not follow simple instructions, then we do not have a chance at succeeding. You're lucky this was... If you stop for even a second, you are a dead test subject. No time to lose. Go! Woohoo! After science is now unstable. Let's go this way. I think that was the wrong way. <laughs> if you stop for even a second, you are a dead test subject. No time to lose. Go. Yeah, I would love to go if I could get off the gel. Why does May disable the reactor make it blow up? Because science. If you stop for even a second, you are a dead test subject. No time to lose. Go. If you stop for even a second, you are a dead test subject. No time to lose. Go! Oh, man. Alright, so this is the... <laughs> well, yeah, there is that too, I guess. Yeah, clearly, you know, Nigel's or instructions were, you know, not vague at all. Yeah, and this is why I kind of hate the speedrun thing. It just gets to a point and it's a bit like, eh. But it's, you know, it's, it's 50 seconds. Come on, we can do 50 seconds, knock. Let's go. The reactor is not manual only. If you stop for even a second, you are a dead test subject. No time to lose. Go. Don't question the story. How dare you? How dare you question the story? It's like that's what I find frustrating about this. It's like if you don't just get like your gel right in this, like the whole thing is just kind second, of. You are Subject. The whole thing kind of is pointless because you just can't do it. There's no like room for error at all. Which is kind of ironic then from what Aaron said earlier on that, you know, or was it Conclan said earlier on that they'd like patched all the speedrunner exploits, yet their game features are a bit like dedicated to speedrunners. That's not even solid. If you stop for even a second, you are a dead test subject. No time to lose. Go. Oh, we got this. Come on, we can do this. Ain't no baby. No baby strats. Wow, really? If you stop for even a second, you are a dead test subject. No time to lose. Go. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do at that last bit? Was I meant to like put some bounce second, gel right at the end as well? No time to lose. Go. I 
I haven't played like Terraria since like way back when. I've never really got into it, to be fair. I um I think the only time I played it is we had it on like a really old Amazon Fire Kindle that my mum gave me for our son once. And it was on there because I think there was some Amazon credits or something that we had to use up. And I think we bought it. But I don't know. I didn't really think that much to it. My speed's just like dis disintegrating. That's why I said when I got to that point before. Did I need to like jump as well as... Um, use the speed gel, so I don't know. Oh my goodness. I do realise F6 exists, Megas, but it's not really in my kind of finger positional range right now. I don't know when I would actually use F6, to be fair. Use it there. And there. Alright, I'll take that back. Already there as well. Alright, I didn't lose speed that time. What the hell? Woo! I actually made it. Did I make it? Did I do it? Am I dead? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Things happened, stuff happened. And now we're on the Truman Show. Everybody loves the Truman Show, right? Terrific navigational skills there. This has been a very successful experiment. So far. Oh, I should mention, you were never authorized personnel. Me saying that was part of testing protocol. You were just an average, unimportant test subject. Makes me sad. I love the Truman Show. The Truman Show is such a great film. It's quite a funny film, but um had a very serious message. But you are most definitely above average. All right. Now I know we can break these quite badly. I need to jump over there. What am I jumping over there for? Ah, I said. Explain to me how that happened. Uh, I can't remember what to do. Don't need to go up to here somewhere. Oh yeah. Go towards the crusher. science
Well, I'm sure I didn't notice it, or else I wouldn't be like stood here at the end of the test, Nigel. That kind of doesn't make sense, does it? I know what you must be wondering. What are we testing for? How is this going to end? Where else has Nigel lied to me? When did I learn his name was Nigel? Why does it look like I'm outside? Where is he getting with all these questions? Alrighty then. So if it wasn't frustrating enough before, now we have to put up with the sound of Nigel. Constantly kind of zooming around of others. I won't really say that there's like much much of a difficulty curve in this one. I don't know if it's just me speaking as like an experienced um, Maybe you should remake it, Conclan. But I don't know, maybe maybe it's because I'm an experienced portal player, but there just doesn't really seem like there's much of a difficulty curve in this. How do we know you are not going to idle for an hour before you solve this test chamber? See? Even I have questions that need some answering. What do you mean Nigel can't be fixed? How dare you say such blasphemous things. I demand you affect him! flying off the edge here. But I have a feeling that's what I'm meant to do. You see, I remember like doing some weird things with this the, the first, when I played it before and I was like, Shot load of gel. Well, I couldn't I can't jump. Can I not just like jump over there though? I cannot. Just wanted to check. Just wanted to check. But yeah, I'm sure I did like loads of weird stuff with this before where I just kind of used it massively. Oh, also, I think I was meant to do that, wasn't I? <sighs> now I've got to solve the whole puzzle again, because why not? That's lots of fun. Solving puzzles is fun. It's kind of my own fault, really. Curiosity got the better of me, like trying to mess about and do things I shouldn't have done. I lost my paint gun. Because what I meant to do. I don't know if I meant to do it, but this is what I did last time something like this. I'm sure I did something like this before. Doubting myself now. I 
Alright, maybe I didn't do that then. Dead. Have I misremembered something here? Do I stand on the button and then fire? Maybe that's what I do. I'm sure I didn't do that before. I'm sure I broke it somehow. I know, right? Shock. Not broke something. Now we get to exit. Maybe not an hour, but you still idle for quite a while, just doing nothing, supposedly thinking how to solve the test. Oh yeah, you did a terrific job. Keep it up. They have given players the opportunity to do it, Mika. It's a... This test chamber is divided in two parts. One where you get the three cubes, and another when you get to the exit. Good luck. Alright, let's get paint everywhere. Well, I guess I need to do all of those things then. Can I just now do this though? Oh no, I've lost my... Well, that's awkward. Yeah, the, the puzzles... The puzzles are disappointing. Very disappointing. Just wanted to check. Well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? That was a mistake. I would love to understand Gmod more, I just generally don't understand it properly. I need to stop trying stupid stuff. Whoa! We got air time. <laughs> I can get across here. Come on. I can do this. I can do this.
Now if I remember, it's just a matter of setting these up so that they all kind of intersect along the way and swap the portals around. I think that's all I need to do with this. Was he trying to like do a Scottish thing there? Because that sounded terrible. Now this test chamber is located in a real desert. Don't worry, you'll obtain a complimentary citranium can at the end of the test. I know I will. Citranium, it's science in a can. Who doesn't like a bit of citranium? How are we doing? Uh, we're on five of nine of these levels, so I don't actually think we've got overly too much more to go, Garen. Send this across somewhere. Don't need to put that across there. I can't quite remember. Thanks, Kong Clan. Yes, I need to put the cube across here. So, I guess I can do things and stuff. Does this shoot this up? joking me. It didn't go across far enough? Really? <laughs> and then when I get it, I don't stand on the button. Of course. It's the knockway. I don't care, Kong. That's the way I'm doing it.
Oh. That could be a problem. I totally didn't think about that. <laughs> Whoopsie. That even, I don't even think that that shouldn't... There we go. Because as Conclan said earlier on, it's just a retextured laser field. Alright, can, can somebody please explain to me what part of that orange... You're not telling me that it hit this real tiny piece of freaking gel right here. Please tell me that's not what happened. Take 9,000. Say what I really miss. I really miss my um I really miss my button to quick grab stuff. We're done. Bravo. Just head over to the vending machine and well, it seems that we've run out of citranium cans at the moment. Terrible. Though, I will personally see that you get your citranium can at the end of the test. Why, thank you very much, Nigel. Thank you very much. All right, I think we've got like what, three or four possibly left to do. Do you feel angry at the end of a test chamber? Always. Alone or depressed? Yep. The new yep. Aperture Science Exotic Location Staging will eliminate all of those feelings by simulating the authentic outsides that the humans were born to roam. All right, so I think if I remember rightly, don't I like do something like this? I don't know if that's enough or not. That should be there. Don't know why I would want to bounce off there, but that kind of rings a bell. We'll see. do that and then I fling across there if I remember rightly then we can do this I'm sure I don't need all that speed to be fair but can't hurt right Then we use this, that's right. It's all coming back to me now. 
And then I need to recall. Both of these cubes get recalled. Ha. Uh. Because I need to bounce off there, onto there, to bounce up to there, to get me up to the top bit, don't I? So I can't remember, I'm, I seem to think that I need to use this for something, but I can't remember what. And I'm worried that if I press this, it's going to respawn by all my cubes. Yes. Maybe just that one. So that doesn't really help. Um... But I could then do this. Which takes off there. It's possible to get up there. Is there any purpose to get up there? I didn't save, so <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, is there any purpose to be up here? Unless it allows me to access in some sort of area I wasn't able to access before, perhaps? Maybe I could get over to there. But... still experienced a negative emotion while testing fill out the appropriate submission form at the end of the test oh I'm feeling lots of negative emotions right now Nigel all the time can't stop them a not so fun fact the water in this test is recycled from the old test chambers we were solving a couple hours ago I would still enjoy the mist our aperture science water filter and cleaning systems destroy 99.3 percent of human waste so if you took a toilet break early on, don't worry. There is practically none of your urine in the air. Practically none. Now doesn't that make me feel good? We're going to need this over here, so. It's kind of getting to the point where the tests aren't difficult, but I am not very familiar with them anymore. this thing.
Um, well, I guess I got to do that again, but I don't particularly want to, so I'll just reload the save. Progress for science. Alright, we're coming up to the back end of this. Thank goodness. I mean, I'll be completely this honest, I'm not... <laughs> gel, but don't it's let not... Um, this is one of our toughest puzzles. Whoever designed this has evil intentions and no mercy at all. But I am sure you will do just It's fine. not particularly enjoyable, this mod. But, for completeness, we have to play it. I don't remember where... I don't know where this one goes. Ah. I guess there lies my answer. You know what? You're probably right. So, the thing I find about this though is like, even though like the skybox and everything, everything is still very blocky. Like insanely blocky. Oh, I was meant to, to press that. Chuns with the raid of 17. Thank you very much. What's the crack, guys? Welcome along. Hope you're all well. It goes very well. Thank you very much, Subsonics. Legend, Chuns. You can play more Castlevania tonight or something else? All right, what do know? We need the we need gel. Yeah. So for all the um all <laughs> the buns, here comes the chuns. Uh, so for everybody joining us, um, welcome along. This is my master portal quest. Um, it's a quest of, that I devised myself to try and play every single portal one and portal two mod 
um, out there. Um, we have already been through and played the Portal uh, 1 mods. And this is our first Portal 2 mod. This is Aperture Tag. So instead of having uh, the portal guns like the original Portal game, in this one the difference is you actually have um, paint instead. So everything you want to do and have to do, need to do, uh, you have to do using paint instead of the uh, portal guns as normal. So yeah, same concept as original portal, uh, apart from paint instead of portal guns. You join us probably about, I think it's two levels from the end of this mod. So um, yeah, we are coming right up to the end of this one. But uh, yeah, welcome raiders, welcome, welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed, Chuns. So let's got our gel. Hopefully now we can go through here. <laughs> Did I say gel instead of paint? I meant gel instead of portals. I do apologize. It's it's, it's late in the day. What can I say? Um, why isn't that doing what I want it to do? Oh, wait a second. Maybe I need to send the cube instead. Can I send the cube? Is is that possible? I'm not sure it is possible, is it? Because send the cube. I'm I'm missing something here. And uh, that something is I need to go through and pick up the cube as I bounce down. That's what I need to do. So bit of uh, circus, ac circus acrobatics is required here. Portal 2 Master. Nah. I can't be a master. I've only got about 1700 hours on Portal 2. Alright, save it here. So I don't have to do this again. Hopefully, he says. So what I should do here is bounce down here, pick up the cube, put the cube in the funnel, drop down, and then here, if I kill the funnel here, I'll drop the cube, and I should be able to exit. Never enough hours. <laughs> Alright, should be through. So the last... Should be through to the last puzzle here. Also, I'm not allowed to transform the aperture science official nomenclatures into acronyms now. So we'll just have to live with it. Although it will not be long for you. Because we are near the end of the test, of course. Well, of course, Nigel, of course. Yeah, there's a lot of this isn't like the best portal mod to showcase. There's a lot of glaring things wrong with this. Um the voice acting is terrible. This is to it. say the least. The last puzzle chamber. The final picture. The maybe not so grand finale. All right, so we got both. And we're going to go here. We're going to go across here. I feel like I could probably cheat that, but we will do this instead. Oh, subs, by the way, sorry, how did you and your uh, Claire B runs go tonight? Did you manage to, uh, did you PB at all tonight? Did we get a new PB? Alright. Why is it that so many structures are extremely fragile? I'm guessing someone from Civil Engineering is going to get sacked soon. Sweet science, you have the bladder of a pregnant woman. Go do your business and get back to the testing as soon as you are done. <laughs> I got the bladder of a pregnant woman, apparently. It's so Nigel says. Is there more up there? Can I can I get up there? Surely not. How's the um how's the Streets of Rage speedruns going as well, subs? Okay. 
Okay, this is blue gel. Now, I'm just trying to think for a moment. Isn't the other exit through? Don't I have to get up to there for the good exit? Uh, for the good ending in this one? I can't even remember. Also, I'm not sure I really wanted to do that. Just yet. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's fair enough. Like I said to you when uh, when you was playing it on the release day, though, I think I really loved the fact that like they didn't try and um, they didn't try and overcomplicate it and over modernize it, and they kept it like quite true to its original. I thought that was like a really good touch. Lozzy, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome along. Thank you, thank you. In the words of Subsonic Legend. All right, so if I jump across to here and die. Uh, that should be good, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Uh, I wanted the cube. Crap. I don't know what I'm going for anymore. It's just... Things are happening. Yeah, I need to get over there for the good ending, I think. So, is there a way that I can get enough speed to jump from, like, over here, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Let's try things and stuff. Things and stuff's always interesting. That's not good. So yeah, it's not a blind run of this mod. I have played it like years and years ago. You need more help for that jump. Ah, okay. So I can't do it from there, Megist. But yeah, like I was saying, for, for everybody that's just sort of tuned in recently um, from Chun's, um, just to explain that, this is not a blind playthrough of this mod. Um, I have played through it previously. Uh, but I just don't have a... I can do it from there. Huh, okay. Interesting. I know the idea is to get the, the laser cube into there, like to actually get the proper ending. Uh, sorry, to... Man, I so hate this sometimes. I think I've got to land on here, right? I don't need the cube. Really? Can I... Oh, you made it slightly bigger than two blocks high. Of course you did. Why did I not jump? I guess I didn't have enough height. So, if I can time this right, I think the idea is to jump here. No, I tell you what I do. I don't use the balance gel on the end here. I just use speed gel. And that should give me enough just to land on where I need to be. Bit further. Bit further. No, okay. Um, use that beautiful thing we talked about earlier. What did we talk about earlier? 
What did we talk about earlier, Magus? Oh man, I overshot it. Really? Skybox? What? You mean to say you want me to do something like this? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. No, you're not kidding me. Again? You did your business not so long ago. Why do you even bother with exploring your surroundings? It's not like you're going to encounter a life-changing moment. Close up the fire pit. Excellent. So now we're on for the good ending, right? Now that we're not going to die a horrible death. Now that you got that out of the way, we can go back and finish the test chamber. Alright, so I just need to now get Do you know what? I think I could have done this. If I'd have got the cube up there with me, I could have done this, right? By like totally cheesing this. So hold on, let's paint all this. And then we're gonna jump off here. Jump up here. Or we jump up here as well. And we'll go for cheese time. Wow, there's like a blatant push there. <laughs> Scripted push. That was quite something. Okay. The, the game just trolled me there. The game pushed me off the ledge. Are you kidding me? Game! This is 100% not how you're meant to solve this. Speedrunning the mod can be fun. Uh, I kind of see it and I kind of don't see it. I don't think this kind of... I, I don't think this game for me would personally be enjoyable enough to speedrun. Just because of um, the whole sort of gameplay and the dialogue and everything like that. Okay. And someone from industrial engineering will be fired too. Well, so long for a dramatic and grand finale. Hey, I got some citranium after all. And Thought she was all sold out. Subject. She almost blew up the whole facility. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. So I have instructions to let you go to avoid any future problems. Go through the door. This elevator will take you to the surface. We won't meet again. This is it. Goodbye. You know, you were my first test subject. We'll all 
always have a deep place inside my gears. Trying to be emotional here, Nigel. At least the music's on point though with this one. It's um it makes a lot it makes up for a lot of it. Um all in all though, I think the mod just isn't quite there. As we touched on before, it's like one of the only mods that you can actually that is like a, a paid for mod. Um, which is quite um, sad really you know I don't I personally don't think it's worth the money that they're they're asking you to pay for it um, there's a lot of glaring issues with it um, you can because the nature of the mechanics of it there's a lot that you can just skip in it as well which kind of doesn't make sense um, doesn't feel like it was play tested very well, but um, like I said, it's more for completeness that I wanted to get through it and play it because I want that um, full sort of quest log on um, on my YouTube, which is the whole point of the master quest here. But um, yeah, there we go. That brings us to the end of Aperture Tag, which means tomorrow night we'll be starting a brand new mod. Um, I have a feeling it will be thinking with Time Machine tomorrow. I'm going to play through like the main core mods first. So obviously we'll play through Tag. We'll play through Thinking with Time Machine. Then we'll jump over to Portal Stories Mel, probably the best of the three. Um, and then we'll start looking at some more of the fan-made mods after that. But, um, well, the voice actor is made through voice123.com. Excellent. Probably why it was so sporadic. Thank you very much, guys, though, for tuning in. I really appreciate the support. Uh, let's say I'll be back tomorrow night with some more Portal 2 mod in the form of Thinking with Time Machine. Thank you very much, Chuns, for the raid. Thank you, Lozzies. Lozzy, sorry, for the follow. Gratefully uh, appreciated indeed. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.